We're third overall and we're kind of progressing forward and we're making baby steps towards the top step. So small progress. Um, it hasn't been as maybe as easy um, as we'd have liked in terms of the environment, in terms of me getting used to my surroundings. Um, but it's a new team, so it kind of will take a little bit of time. We sort of knew that. Yeah, I feel, I feel good with the car. You know, I feel good with uh, Porsche racing. I feel like I understand it. I've had wins in all, all, all two of the other years, so I know what it takes to win in this car. I think that's fair to say, and, and I've been trying to implement that this year with uh, JTR, who are a new team to the championship. Three of you, familiar faces, Kamesh Eastwood and yourself, all in the top three spots like you were last year, um, and it is all to be won, really, in going into Le Mans. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I knew it was going to be tough. The, the guys that signed up were the guys there last year, and uh, I really enjoyed it last year. We finished second overall last year. So the idea was to come in this year and, and, and improve. I felt like last year there were a couple of races where um, things went against us. I think that's, that's fair enough to say. And it's good that it's healthy competition, absolutely. I'm, in, I'm enjoying that side of it. Um, but looking to, to kind of focus on ourselves and on my driving and my work with the team and just make those steps forward. And we know that we've got what it takes to win overall, but we need to improve. Now, heading into Le Mans, it is uh, one of the most dangerous circuits within the season. Um, it's going to be complicated further by the fact that there's actually going to be 60 of you guys on the track because it's combined with the Porsche Carrera Cup, GB, France and Belgium. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I mean, there's, as you say, there's going to be 60-odd cars um, travelling down. It's a four and a bit minute lap, so it's a long, long lap. It's going to be about making no mistakes. It's going to be about keeping the, the nose clean, as it were, and... Um, doing the best we can. Well, given the team that you're racing for, one would hope that you are being well prepped for Le Mans as uh, Nick Tandy, Tandy as a former winner of it. Yeah, absolutely. And he himself is going to be racing in the LMP1 uh, car with Porsche on the sun Saturday to Sunday uh, in the actual 24-hour race. So the atmosphere, I think, is going to be cool. The, the whole event in itself is going to be amazing. 300,000 people apparently going to be there watching uh, and it would just be about kind of getting my head down and, and focusing on what I have to do to win. And whilst, of course, you're concentrating on what you need to do to win the Porsche Carrera Cup GB, but also there is the dangled carrot, if you like, of uh, the Porsche driver that wins the race on Thursday uh, and gets a chance of riding in the LMP1 simulator. Absolutely, yeah. They've just announced that this week. It's going to be a, an extra incentive, if you like. I guess for the lay person, in terms of if you were trying to compare that for it, it's a bit like someone playing for a League One club being offered a day to play for the first team at Chelsea. So. That's right, yeah, it's, it's a big thing, actually. It's, um, LMP1 is the top of the top. You know, my team owner, Nick, is, uh, is the factory driver. He's the number one driver in, in, at the moment, one of the number one drivers in, in the LMP1 programme. So it, he is at the top of the tree, if you like. So to be able to go and test the assimilator is uh, it's a big thing. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a big, big incentive, and uh, I'm sure something that would be very fun and, and, and uh, a memory that would last forever.